A polar vortex is bringing record cold temperatures to the East Coast, while wildfires burn out of control in California. This is less than six months after hurricanes ravaged Western North Carolina. What's going on with extreme weather, and how does solar hold up under these conditions? I'm gonna be answering those questions in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about solar versus extreme weather, and how does solar hold up in extreme weather conditions. Now, as I'm recording this video, we are having record cold temperatures here where I live on the East Coast. Uh, and of course, we still have the wildfires in California. They've been burning for about three weeks now and are still not fully contained. Now, why is solar so important in situations like this? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is being less dependent on centralized infrastructure being less independent on the power company, whereas with solar and battery storage, you have decentralized energy generation and storage. So for example, if, if grid service goes down or if grid service becomes unreliable, you have the means of harvesting and storing the energy needs for your home right there on your property. That's one of my favorite things about solar is that everything you need, you can take physical custody of it right there on your own property, enough solar to capture enough energy during daylight hours, and then having enough battery storage to carry you through the night, and then the next day, the solar panels can just take over and recharge the battery, and that's available whether utility service is up or down. But there's a number of other natural disasters and extreme weather conditions where solar can help. Uh, let's look at hurricanes, for example. Now, here where I live on the East Coast, it's a pretty frequent occurrence to have hurricanes come through. Uh, oftentimes, those hurricanes can knock out electrical service. And so again, by having a solar system with battery storage installed, it will give you the ability to disconnect from the power grid and still have secure power in your home both day and night. Solar during the daytime, charging up batteries, and then being able to run your house during evening hours off the batteries. Now, one question I always get is, are solar panels strong enough to hold up to extreme high winds or hurricane force winds? Uh, and the answer, of course, is yes. When you install a solar power system on your home, the solar system and the racking equipment that's used to attach that solar system to your roof has to be built to the same building code as the, the building itself, as the roof itself. So if you live in an area that's prone to hurricanes or extreme high winds, let's say in, in the Miami area, you, might, you may have to build to 130 mile per hour wind rating. Well, the solar panel and the solar panel attachments also have to be built to that same 130 mile per hour wind rating. Another extreme weather condition that you might experience is heavy snow load. So for those of you who are watching this from the Northeast, where it's not uncommon to get multiple feet of snow on your roof and then have that snow sit there for a prolonged period of time, it's important that you look for a solar panel with a strong me mechanical integrity that can offer a high snow load rating. Uh, again, snow can, can be very, very heavy, uh, especially you don't think about it, but you know, if you have a significant volume of snow that builds up on your roof, we're talking multiple feet of snow, this could be thousands of additional pounds uh, of weight that the roof, and then if, of course, if there's solar panels on top of that roof, uh, would have to support. But as I mentioned earlier, just like in the hurricane prone states, if you live in an area that has high snowfall each year, uh, the solar panels and the solar panel racking has to be built to the same snow load rating as the roof itself. So these systems are engineered to survive in extreme weather conditions. And then the other thing you wanna consider are extreme temperatures. Now, a lot of folks are surprised to hear that solar panels actually do perform better in cold temperatures as opposed to hot temperatures. And so if you're looking at the, the peak solar panel performance during the year, you're actually more likely to get peak power output on a very cool day, but where you're getting very direct sunlight. Now in the wintertime, we don't have a lot of those clear sunny days with no clouds, but when we do, and you get clear direct sunlight that's able to hit the solar cells directly perpendicular, and at very cool temperatures, the solar cells actually perform better uh, under those conditions. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you've gotta consider extreme high temperatures. And for those of you watching in places like Southern California, Nevada, Texas, Arizona, um, you're gonna have extreme high temperatures, especially during the summer months on the rooftop. And so looking for a solar panel that's gonna offer you excellent high heat performance, uh, i.e. a solar panel with a low temperature coefficient 
is something that you might want to consider. Now, when we talk about temperature coefficient, what we're talking about is the percentage of energy production or the, or the percentage of power output that is lost for each degree of temperature above the ideal temperature where that solar panel has to operate. Uh, solar panels are like many other electrical equipment. Um, once they have to operate at extreme high temperature, their efficiency goes down. So the lower the temperature coefficient on the solar panel, the, the less amount of loss you're going to have when that solar panel has to operate in extreme high temperatures. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, REC. Today's video is brought to you by REC. If you're looking to get the maximum performance for your residential solar and battery storage system, then you need to take a look at the new REC Alpha Pure RX solar modules. REC solar cells are built using heterojunction technology, which is a combination of crystalline silicon and amorphous or thin film silicon. The result is a solar module with extremely high efficiency and industry low degradation rate, all while remaining price competitive. The low temperature coefficient and extra horizontal supports keeps the solar panel performing near peak power even in extreme weather conditions. REC stands behind its award-winning modules with a 25-year ProTrust warranty that covers power, product, and labor. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to get the best performance from your solar array, then tell your installer to use REC Alpha Pure RX. The 450 and 460 watt modules are available now at your local solar distributor. Thank you REC for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you're a solar homeowner out there, if you've had to use your solar system and survive during an extreme weather event, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear your story. Now, of course, solar's only really going to help you in an emergency survival situation if you have battery storage integrated with your solar. This way you can directly power your home using solar power during daylight hours. You can charge all of your excess solar into a battery and then the battery has enough energy to keep the home energized all throughout the night to buy you enough time to where you can get to the next day and where the solar panels can take over and recharge the battery. By the way, if you're in the market currently and you're looking at different battery storage options for your home, make sure you watch our previous video, Top 5 Recommended Solar Batteries for 2025, where I explained my recommended choices in more detail. So this has been a discussion of solar versus extreme weather. Again, solar is an excellent solution to provide for your energy security, uh, dealing with natural disasters, whether we're talking about wildfires, hurricanes, uh, or extreme hot or cold weather, it's a great way to secure your home's power supply as long as you've paired solar with the correct battery storage system. Uh, by the way, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote, you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. Uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. Set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or you can just use the free online calculator to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time on the solar surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.